Easter Sunday, you guys. Happy Easter Sunday, honey. I did start this morning. <laughs> Sorry. Um, oh, oh, my touch is here. He's been doing it nicely for church, so I better leave it be. Um, <laughs> wanted to say hello to you guys and wish you a fantastic weekend. Luckily for Greg, he has another day off tomorrow, so we get to spend more time together. Whee! Um, this morning we have church and I think it would be nice just to at least let people know that we <laughs> we love to see them and um, there's candy floss. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, fairy floss. Oh sorry, fairy floss. I don't know why I call it candy floss. Well it's a type of candy, fairy floss. Yeah, I can't remember the last time I had fairy floss. That was uh yeah. The show. Maybe. Show probably one of the shows that we went to. Such a beautiful day. Check out the outside area. Um, considering I didn't go to bed until midnight last night, somehow I have this energy, and I did wake up about two in the morning as well. How is my husband feeling? Alright, not too bad. What the hell is that? An engine? Yeah. <laughs> I can't tell which one because none, none of the sound looked like anything. Anyway. I slept okay, I think. You think? How's your neck? Because he was just rolling it around. It's stiff. Oh. Nothing too bad, though. Okay. How's your cup? Yeah, it's green. Um, <laughs> my epic cut, huh? Well, <laughs> happened 2am this morning where I was drinking from a jar. Now, I want to let you guys know that Greg and I consider ourselves to be very resourceful people. So we do have jars that we drink out of that have been used for pasta sauces and other sauces they're washed out and everything but there was just this one unfortunate jar that I used last night and I couldn't see it maybe because I was tired it was it wasn't dark but point is I completely missed that there was this pointy part on the lip of the jar and I cut myself and it kind of hurt <laughs> So anyway, Greg's t tossed out that jar and look, we have heaps more to use. Honestly, that was like a jar out of how long we've used jars. We've used them for a while and they're fine. Yeah. It was just one, one little thing. So my cut's fine. I'm keeping my band-aid on only because we're going to church and there are children there and they're very curious. So if you have something that they want to look at touch they will try and do that um, and I want to have a band-aid on so that I keep it safe from any germs I want to keep it safe anyway uh, what else I feel like we'll probably have a relaxing type of day tomorrow don't really know what plans we have like we found out on Friday not much was open we wanted to go to Audi and get some more chocolate Easter eggs and it was closed and so was Coles and there were cars parked in that area but I don't know what they were parked there for maybe because they live in that probably park there too from that yeah but uh, we're talking about coals and, and garland oh. there's anything there 
Well, I'm not talking about Gungal, and I don't know about that situation. But I thought there were um, people living there too. I don't know. It doesn't matter. You know, we check out this area. There's a little playground down the bottom. We've never been there. Probably because we're not children, we don't have any. But there is one. Not children. Well, we could, but I just, I don't know if you're into that. What is it? It's like a swing set, isn't it? A slide? Possibly a swing. We're good. Found it? Yeah. yeah. I'm hungry though, so I'm looking forward to something to eat. Just gonna swing past Hungry Jack's on the way so Greg can get his caramel latte lay. Caramel latte. You don't want one? I don't know, I might just have a hot chocolate too. Okay, well sorry, he's having a hot chocolate. Rephrased. And I am going to have sausage and egg with muffin. Because, sorry, it's not McDonald's. Sausage and egg muffin. I get so confused because they both decided to do muffins. And it just rolls off the tongue, Mac Muffin. But Hungry Jacks don't have Mac Muffins. They have muffins. But we're not going to get into that. Anyone born in 1985? I've got this number plate in front of us. Just 1985. Okay. Okay. Well, and also... It'll be good to go to church because, you know, then we'll, we'll find out what sort of things they've got lined up for Easter, as in, like, what sort of um, messages to share with us. So I believe today was the day that Jesus rose from the cross. And uh, that's much to celebrate. Uh, can I please grab a sausage and egg uh, muffin, please, meal? Yeah, a sausage and egg muffin meal? Yep. Yeah, what size was that? Uh, large, please. Large, with what drink? Uh, can I grab a hot chocolate with that one, please? Yeah, anything else? Is and water. can I grab a bottle of water? Yeah. And two extra hash browns, please. Yeah, anything else? That's it, thank you. Grab one, please. Hi you guys, we have just arrived at the lake and yum yum yum, we've got some KFC to eat. So Greg and I are just going to enjoy ourselves eating. I have a twister, I want to call it twister combo, that means it comes with chips and a drink. So I'm going to call it just a zinger twister and Greg has, I don't know, the zinger, oh look at that, it's got like um, what are they? Chips. Chips. Yeah. Um, nacho chips or something. It's called a Zinger um, Punch Bowl. Oh, very nice. Mm. Yours is a Samoa Twister. Which your recipe. I love it. Good. What do you. Yeah, I'll let you eat and then you can tell me what you think of it. It's good. Got jalapeno mayo in it, some Zinger chip, um, Zinger chicken. Because I think Greg found it on through his emails and decided that we'd give it a go today. Mm. Come on, it's Easter. Come on, let's enjoy ourselves a little bit. We've been enjoying ourselves every day.
the last time we were down here we saw these really big black swans which you would have seen anyway but I don't see any today oh yeah I do I see it far far down there just the one I think they're not in the pack of four well, not in the pack of four well they were weren't they there were four of them or yes, five there ones? was four of them mm. Random thing, but I don't think anyone's been attacked by a swan. They're pretty uh, gentle creatures. It's more like people have been attacked by emus and octopuses, geese, hmm? and octopuses, I think. <laughs> and octopuses, yeah. Hmm. Only because I feel like I'm repeating this story all over again. One of the Easter's I had with my mum and her friend. We were in Bustleton. Which I can't remember exactly where that is. But we were in Bustleton for a holiday and... I felt something touch my foot. And it turned out to be an octopus. I don't want to go into detail about that part. Because I can probably tell you another, another time. About that holiday. But the point is... Then mum was saying, oh, did you hear about the octopus that attacked the man and slapped him on the back? And I thought, what do you mean? And no one didn't know anything about that. And I said, where'd you find that out? And she said, it's on Facebook. And I thought, really, you believe everything that's on Facebook? She said, you have to see this. And sure enough, there's footage, excuse me, of this so-called aggressive octopus in, um, I can't even remember where the area is, but... I can't remember it. Uh, an aggressive octopus, huh? Didn't slap the man's back, as far as I know, but he certainly got onto his neck. Back of the neck, yeah. Back of the neck, he's got a bit of a something going on. Okay, let's play a trivia. Okay. How many stomachs does a cow have? Four. Are you sure? Yeah. I'll even Google it if you want. <laughs> Are you sure? How many do you think? I actually thought it had a bit more. Maybe five. Cows almost and almost all cattle are ruminants. Also, what? Ruminants are cud chewing hooved mammals with stomach with their stomachs with four and occasionally three chambers. So four chambers, four stomachs. Fair enough. You win. Next. Well, it's your turn to ask a question. Okay, then. Um... Do you guys have Pepsi in the US? I can't remember. But we have Pepsi Max. Okay. And we have Coke as well. What do you guys call it? Coca Cola? I'm trying to remember. They've also got Dr. Pepper over there. Mmm. I've never tried that before. I don't know what that tastes like. It sounds a bit scary because it's... Would it taste like pepper? No, no. Just then why do they call it Dr. Pepper? Probably named after the guy who made it. Okay, come on then. Give me a trivia. Okay. At least one that you... I've heard before. You've heard before. Okay. I can't remember if we did this one, but what are the colours of the rainbow? We did <laughs> do this one, and it was Roy G. Biv, I believe it's seven. I said what? Oh, what? Okay, so that's red, orange, yellow, green.
green, blue, indigo, and violet. Yay! Yay! Okay, I'll just come up with a tricky one for you. Okay. <laughs> as in on the coat of arms or as in the... Um... Okay, the two animals in the Australian coat of arms is the kangaroo and the emu. That's easy. Um, <laughs> the reason they did it that way is because the kangaroo and the emu are the only um, animals that can't walk backwards. Fine, then how would you have asked the question? What are the two animals in the coat of arms? Yeah. What sort of animals on the British coat of arms? <sighs> Can you at least give me a clue? It's because mythical. A unicorn. Yes, you're right. <laughs> no, really? Yeah. Yeah. I show. Why would a unicorn be on the British? Because it is. They obviously That's used to. Um... Different. Okay, it's a lion and a unicorn, but. I would say that was a horse. Unicorn. Okay, now I see the horn. In case you guys haven't seen, this is the uh, this is the British coat of arms. There you go. Well, there's a bit of version. Here we go. Next. Which were the countries that participated in World War Two? That's a lot, honey. Most well, of the Well, what world? do you remember? Any? <laughs> Whatever. Do you want? I can give you Allied and Axis powers. What do you want? Whatever you want to well, say on about. Well, the Allied side, it was France, France, Great Britain, Russia, okay. versus um, Germany, Austria, and um, uh, well, I was going to say Italy, but it's not. In the first World War, I don't think. Japan. No, Japan was Second World War. Done. I just said World War Two. You said World War. Okay, since Greg didn't listen, <laughs> I'm gonna ask you another question. Can you actually make sure I'm that listening. you right take in everything that I say? Yes, dear. Right. In what year did McDonald's become a franchise? <laughs> Seventy-three. Let's find out. I was it just Siri did. It's fine. Maybe I should have asked what was the name of the. What was the name of the man that turned McDonald's into a franchise? Then, uh, not McDonald's. Yeah, it was McDonald's. At least you know that one. What was the name of the man? Uh, now that one should be easy. Ray Kroc. Yes. Yes. Yes, and it ends up being it's 55, 1955. He started. 1955. There we go. Five, five, good All right, there you go. Your turn now. Let's do. Okay. Um... So far we've had history, food, and weather. Weather? Well, I thought rainbow was to do with the weather. Okay. Sun and, and then the other topic would have been coat of arms, which was, history. well, that's history too. Yeah. Oh, and then the cow, and that was, <laughs> I don't 
no farm animals. General knowledge. Um, okay. There are two types of trees. What are they? Where and why do I what? I don't know. Okay, so, the, so there's two two types of trees. Yes. One is evergreen. What is the other one? For what? And where? In Australia or types what? Types of trees. That oh, two types. Fir. No. Pine. No. One's evergreen, which means they last, um, stay green all year. What's the other one? No, I know nothing about flora and fauna. It's what? deciduous. Oh yeah, like I was gonna pull that out of my head. Which, me which means that um, oh, during la, la, la. the colder months they go to sleep. That's why they get turned orange. Well, that should be dormant. Leaves. Fine. What? What scientific process does a flower use to grow? Photosynthesis. Where? Well, yeah, there we go. Oh please. Doesn't everybody know that one though? Of course they do, but still. Oh, thanks. You're really dumbing it down for me today. Next. Oh. Fine. What <clears throat> ingredients do you put in a in basic pancakes? <laughs> basic pancakes. I don't know. Sugar, milk, butter, and flour. Eh. And eggs. Butter isn't actually, it's not a, no. <laughs> it's not an ingredient. It's you butter, use it, it? No. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> it's wrong. Oh. Fine, look it up. It's kid spot pancakes. <sighs> you have, in the pancake itself, you have. Flour, sugar, and eggs. It could spot. Milk, sorry. And butter. No, butter is the... It says... No, but no, no, butter no. is... Look at it here. It says flour, sugar, egg, milk, and butter. Butter is not included. In the bowl with flour and sugar, beat the egg and the milk a little in time the better. See? The nuts. Okay, that's well, fine, but... Brush butter over cooking surface means it doesn't get included in the pancake. One point to me. Yeah. Oh, don't! That's not fair! I said okay. You can't get annoyed but about it. But it was in the recipe. It wasn't in the ingredients. It, that was the ingredients. It butter. And that the was the ingredients melted. for cooking. <laughs> I wasn't a saw loser then either. That was just one of the moments when you weren't. <laughs> Moving on. And because he always wins everything else. Find what are the four strokes of an internal bus movement. I don't know engine. what that means. Greg, it's to do with a car. That's not fair. I don't... <laughs> Why? You through stuff that I don't even know. Honey. Okay, Greg's been in the kitchen when I've cooked. I'm not out here when you're fixing your cars. Where would I even start? Okay. Fine, ask me the question again. Don't worry about it. No, do it. No, I bring it on. Just give it to me. And I'm gonna throw words at you. Go. What are the four strokes? I don't even know what that means, but go. Of an internal combustion engine. <laughs> strokes. <laughs> What's that? Pedal, steering wheel, <laughs> engine. Engine. It's in the engine. <laughs> okay. Intake. Yeah. Compression, power, exhaust. 
this is so unfair. This is just unfair. You're making this about cars. I don't know much about. Okay, look. I don't even know the word question. stroke. Like, why would you even? Maybe you could have said to me, "What's in the back of the car?" Or what's what's in the boot? Same thing. Or what's in the what's the bumper for? I don't know something like that, but not. What's the strokes? Like, you didn't even mention okay. an engine, and then I ask you which part of the car it's I in. I said and then, internal combustion engine. Whatever you did, I'm gonna go back. Okay, and, go back. And, and I'm gonna check. And you are such a cheater. I'm not. <laughs> you cheat. <laughs> you cheated. Fine, two points because you end up getting it in the end. No, you told me what it was. Not too bad, I'm giving you two points. Anyway. I don't want points that I haven't earned. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. Anyway, um, fine, something easier. Thing is, what type of dog was in the BFG? Oh, corgi. There you go. You just dumbed it down no, again I didn't. for me, didn't you? No, I didn't. Did you really not think I knew the name of that type of dog? No, I just couldn't. Re I couldn't remember myself actually. And history, I know a bit, but not not the stuff that's not interesting, which is all of it. stuff is not interesting. What? It's cute. I love you. Stop. Okay, and then I guess I fall into the category of girly stuff. I love makeup. And hey, hang on. I was going to start with jewelry. jewelry. I'd be interested in, in not just jewelry, but gold and okay. silver and bronze and Okay, I what, like a bit of sports stuff. And what gemstone is your birth month? Birth time? Amethyst. No. The P word. Not Poseidon. Some. Um, it's um. Right. Peridot. There we go. I don't know if that was cheating, but I honestly didn't like, hear the whole word. It was just the first part. Okay. Okay, fine. The other thing, I know a bit more about the history of the gods and the, you know, the, um, the mythical stories. Like, I'm into that sort of okay, thing. Uh... So, like, Medusa and Hercules and Poseidon and... You know, that sort of thing. Who, who was the father of Zeus? Zeus. The father of Zeus. Cronus. Cronus, yeah, you're right. Sue? Sue? Not everything, but I know more about that stuff than I do about your car. Fine. Give me a question now. I've given you two questions. Oh, does it have to be about bloody car though? No, it doesn't. Can it be about it can something be about else? anything. I don't care. Okay. Not easy for me, but um... <laughs> no, I mean what's not easy is the fact that I don't know how to word this question for you. Because okay. it's a type of monkey. And I'm like, how do I describe it to him so he knows what monkey it is? It's a type of monkey. Okay, what's the question? What is this type of monkey? Well, it's a little fairy. And it lives in the trees. And, um... And it jumps. Oh, and it was in um, Madagascar. A lima. Yes, see? Yeah, well done. That's what I was talking about. Only not. That's a monkey, isn't it? What? Okay, what is it then? A lemur's a lemur. No. What's it? A lemur's a rodent then. Okay, fine. What's a, No, you can't just say a lemur's a lemur. A lemur fits in the category of what? Fine. I don't know. 
It's a sea creature. No, I know sea. it's not a <laughs> I'm teasing you. I know that. I'm just playing with you because you get all serious about these games because I don't seem to get it right. Fine. I thought lemurs were monkeys. Okay, lemurs are... Ugh, never mind. Well, how would you describe a lemur? It's not a meerkat. It's a type of rabbit. <laughs> well, what? someone what a lemur is it's furry fluffy I said it's even got a Latin name which is lemur a day that's the family yes true lemurs and it consists there's 20 so, species of lemur so what the hell yeah what what animal fa I get that it's from Madagascar I thought it was a monkey. Okay, fine. No, it don't look like a monkey at all. It's a, I'd call it a big rat. <laughs> I don't know, Greg. It's like, okay, it's like, what do you call a possum? What do you call a bandicoot? They're wombats. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, a possum's a marsupial. I can tell you that. Fine, much. then it's a, then that's a marsupial. Okay. <laughs> that's a mammal, but then we're mammals, so it's tricky for people to understand. Fine. I don't even know what a wombat is. Like, I don't know what category a wombat fits in well actually they're primates lemurs are primates okay which is it's a large taxidermic group with monkeys and apes technically Te speaking technically speaking lemurs once upon a time belong to the they are actually primates they're primates they're the primates they grouped the... with monkeys considering your wife may not they're sound older. like the smartest person in the world I wasn't actually completely off the road here. No, they're not monkeys, but they belong to the family of. Yes. Okay. Fine. See. I mean, okay. I'm, and I'm, just so, just so, we're, just so we're on um, Bandicoot. Yeah. This is about to die, so we might have to continue the rest of this later. They're marsupials. Bandicoots. Bandicoots. And what was the other thing that was bandicoots? I said ba I said uh, possum. possum. That's it. So possums and bandicoots are marsupials, and wombats are a rabbit. <laughs> a rabbit? <laughs> Where are you keep getting the rabbit from? I don't know. Well, why do you put a wombat in? It's a it's a mammal. Plus, it's also one of the most dangerous creatures you can have on the road because people knock into wombats. They're actually a really dangerous creature. Wombats are marsupials as well. <laughs> Fairy rat? Fairy rabbit? <laughs> but more rabbits then because you keep on going rabbit. Well maybe rabbits are marsupials as well. <laughs> rabbits are small mammals. Yeah, but we're mammals. Yes. That's, we don't look like that. <laughs> it means they give... Oh, I can still make him laugh. 